Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, we're here in my backyard. Ooh, you're wearing protective gear. So are you. Because we're about to do something that could be borderline dangerous. Hey, this is this is perfectly safe what we're doing. Uh, what we have here is a doer full of liquid nitrogen. A doer. A doer. We're all doers. Um well we uh, this is D E W A R not ah, D O E R. It's a big thermos. It is a giant thermos. You can see this is the cap for the thermos. It's huge. It's made of this low density foam, so it's a good insulator. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it keeps the liquid nitrogen inside here at a very very low temperature. Uh, negative 200 degrees Celsius, more or less. Negative 371 Fahrenheit. This is the only legal way for you to buy liquid nitrogen. You can buy it in a big tank if you want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Store it at home. But for five liters, if you want to make ice cream at home or just freeze some stuff, which is what we're going to do, then this is what you can use. So liquid nitrogen, LN2, super cold. Well, the L is just liquid. Liquid. It's N2 in liquid form. So it's it's like you know, air can be steam, mm -hmm. or water can be steam and be vapor or liquid and be water. That's exactly what's happening That's right here. Exactly. It's steaming up, so it's turning into vapor. The interesting thing about nitrogen is uh, it's vapor pressure at normal atmospheric pressure, mm -hmm. it's negative 200 degrees. So it'll stay liquid as long as it stays below the boiling point. Right. So what happens is when you have it out like this and you just you know splash it on something, it essentially just boils, right? As it hits whatever you're putting it on, immediately. It's like, it's yeah. like you hit water on a griddle or a hot plate or a stove or something like that. It's like, you know, uh, it's like dry ice. But much, much colder. Dry much ice cold. is negative 80 degrees, yeah. this is negative 200. Uh, so what I've done is I have a balloon in here. The mm. balloon was inflated when I put it in. Ooh. I'm just gonna put it down there. And what happened? Oh, now it's kind of flaming back up. So the air that was in the balloon got cool, mm -hmm. contracted, because it got so cold. So cold, yeah. Right, and now as it's warming back warming up, up, it's inflating again. Is that gonna just blow up? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. It's probably not that cold anymore. See, it's, it's, you can hold in your hand. Magic trick. Yeah, so um, it's a self-inflating balloon. You can do all sorts of interesting things with nitrogen, because when you reach this low temperature, negative 200 degrees Physical again. properties change. Properties change. Things become brittle that were once were not brittle. Yeah. Um, as you can see, this is so cold, this, this metal, Ooh, Oop, oh. There went the balloon. Uh, this metal, this metal bowl is so cold now that it's pulling the water vapor out of the air from the side and freezing yeah. the side. When you hook a balloon to a test tube, you can actually freeze, liquefy the air using liquid nitrogen by using the balloon Crazy. as a kind of condenser. So what we're gonna do, first off, I have some blueberries. You like blueberries, Norm? I love blueberries. Well, oh, those are some really nice blueberries. These are good blueberries. They're organic. Mm -hmm. I'm putting them in liquid nitrogen. And as you can see, they're getting really, really cold right now. There's gonna be a lot of steam coming out. They have stopped bubbling around, so you can tell they're around negative 200. They're around frozen the... so solid, they're cracking. Yeah, so so what happens is, you know, normally you can't get water below the freezing point because it turns into ice. Yep. Once it's turned into ice, you can make it as cold as you have something you know that's colder than it. So in this case, you, these are dangerously cold right now. If you put these in your mouth, you'd get you, frostbite you on your tongue. Do that. It's a really bad idea. So I've got one frozen solid, and you can see. It's hard as a rock. Different, normal blueberry. Well, that's no a frozen bounce. blueberry. New, normal blueberry, kind of can't, rolls. Can't play ping pong with that. Do not play ping pong with this blueberry. So we're gonna bring it over here. We have a, a smashing station set up. I would say get the little, littlest of the hammers for this one. So put that down. That's a normal blueberry. Okay. And now this is the frozen one. And it exploded. Two pieces flew across the room. So the reason blueberries freeze like that is that they have a lot of water in them. Yep. So sometimes they freeze so fast that they just explode. But what um, if it's uh, something that doesn't have a lot of water inside? For example, Do they still freeze like a piece plastic, of metal, metal, rocks, tennis ball, tennis ball. Drop the tennis ball in there. It's important to note that there are some safe handling precautions if you're using liquid nitrogen. Do we need gloves? Uh, you don't want to have anything that's going to catch it between you and your skin. Yeah. So uh, gloves are not necessarily a good idea. If you're going to wear gloves, you have to wear great big long ones that go way up because the worst thing that could happen is it shoots down between your skin you and you. You cannot pull the gloves off fast enough. And you enough. can't get them off fast enough and you're going to freeze yourself. Freeze. Uh, same thing, watch out for cuffed pants. I'm wearing jeans right now that are cuffed, but I'm being very careful. You definitely want to wear closed-toed shoes, and eye protection is actually not a bad idea because the the while the liquid nitrogen will normally just roll off your skin if it, if a little small quantity hits, if it hits your eyes, they're liquid enough that they'll freeze very quickly and do bad things. Well, let's go on. Why don't we drop the? Well, let's do do the flower here real quick. So this is just a. a I think it's an impatience. I want to take this out. I'm impatient. You are impatient. The ball's not gonna explode. No, probably not. So this is this is a flower. It's frozen solid enough that it just crumbles. And it'll melt and turn it back into a normal flower uh, with the with the petals over here. Again, stuff that has a lot of water content freezes pretty good. How's the tennis ball doing there, Chan? It's pretty good. 
You want to take that out and put it over in the thing and whack it with the sledgehammer? Okay, you're going to have to hold it. Frozen solid. But it didn't shatter because not a lot of water inside a tennis ball, it turns out. Cool. Let's um, go freeze more stuff. This might be a sledgehammer job. Yeah. Don't miss, Chan. Wow. <laughs> you said don't miss, Chan. <laughs> wow. The rock cracked in half. There's two pieces broke off actually, one here and then one up here too. You wanna drop the spam in there and see what happens? Yeah, open up the spam can. Have you ever had spam before? Yeah, as a kid. Never eaten spam. Oh, you put spam in um uh, in I've had spam with salt. Yeah. Does it just come out as a hole? Oh, put your finger in that oh. meat. Oh. oh, yeah, get that meat out of the hole. It smells so bad. This really does smell awful. Hey, um, turn, turn, turn around for just a minute. One block of frozen spam. Still smells bad. Wow. It's not frozen in the inside. <laughs> the full sledge? You know at the end of Terminator 2? Yes. When Robert Patrick as the T-1000. They're in the steel mill. They're in a steel mill. What happens in the steel mill? Well, fortuitously, mm -hmm. uh, the T-1000 is driving a big tanker full of liquid, liquid nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah. So this is a big tank of liquid nitrogen. It's all to scale. We thought it was only appropriate. I'm gonna fill this up. To put our little Robert Patrick. Poor Robert Patrick. Into liquid nitrogen. Oh, this is the last of the liquid nitrogen. Where are you, Linda Hamilton? Where are you? Come with me if you want to live. Where Wait, are no, you? Outside of Robert Patrick. Edward Furlong, where is the furlonged one? Put him, put him in, Norm. He doesn't really say anything in the movie. No, he doesn't talk at all. He just, he just kills. Oh! Wow, he's boiling he up pretty good. I think we need more. Yeah, he needs to stop bubbling. He's yeah. gonna keep getting colder. Oh, he's snapping off his fingers. Oh, that's so awesome. More and more. You know what I have? No, 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 we wanna, want he shatters. Yeah, from fire. No, no, from a bullet. It's hasta la vista, baby. Oh, he does And then him. shatter. I thought he used fire. No, have you never seen Terminator 2? I brought fire out specifically for this. <sighs> so disappointed. Oh, this is a. Oh my God. Robert Patrick couldn't take the cold. It's just like in the movie. Freezing over right there. Just touching up the cold. Here, Norm. I'll give you an appropriate sized hammer. No, no, no. You ready? The little one's always better. Hasta la vista. Robert Patrick went everywhere. Yeah, he just went everywhere. There was, there was no, it would. See if we can dig up some plastic. We'll find, it'll turn up. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take the legs and stuff out. So what did we learn today, Norm? Well, that was a lot of fun, but liquid nitrogen, while fun, is also pretty dangerous. It's, it's a real scary material, uh, but if you handle it properly, then you can do things at home, like make ice cream with it, which we'll show you how to do yeah. later. Or whipped cream, cream puffs. Whipped cream, cream puffs. Mm -hmm. Or you could freeze a whole block of Spam and smash it with a hammer. You do uh, need a doer. Yeah, you to need. Buy you gotta buy a doer. You know, if you find a welding shop that, that you're friends with and that they think you're non-litigious, you might be able to get them to fill up a styrofoam cooler for you. No. But it won't last very long. Uh, it, you know, in the doer it'll last 20 days. In the styrofoam cooler it'll last a matter of hours. And not as safe. It's very unsafe. Um, so yeah, that's it for us today on liquid nitrogen. Uh, if you have more stuff that you want to see us to do with liquid nitrogen, we're gonna make some ice cream real mm -hmm. soon. Uh, until next time, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye. Bum 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 bum.
Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 No, that's the wrong music. Bum, bum. No, that's, that's Rocky, that's isn't it? No. <laughs> that's the, that's the coming down the chain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs>